So what if I told you there was a way to create custom video players in Framer? Hey guys, Wes here from Insert Frame, and today we're going to learn how you can create your very own custom video player in Framer using Video Frame. Now the truth is it's actually really easy, and I'll break it into three simple steps for you. But before we get into it, I'll mention that if you're not interested in starting from scratch, or you don't have the time, or for whatever reason, you can always start from a template instead. Step one is to set up the video player. So we're going to go to the video frame dashboard. We're going to click on this video holder component to copy it. And then we're going to go back into our framer project and hit paste. Now, first thing we're going to do, this is really important, is we're going to wrap it in a stack, set it to fit, and then set the width and height back to fixed. And we're going to also click this little lock here so that we can lock the aspect ratio. Just to keep my layers clean, I'll also name the layer video player. Next, we'll select the video frame component and set the width and height both to fill. Now, if you scroll down in the properties panel, you'll notice a few settings. Most of them don't need explanation, but I'll point out that you can choose to upload your video via a URL, a file, via YouTube using a URL or Vimeo. And they'll all give you a slightly different set of options to play with. So I'm gonna use YouTube and I'm just gonna throw in a YouTube link that I've got on my clipboard and I'll hit enter. Now, step two is to set up the controls. So to start, I'll draw a frame just anywhere in the canvas. I'll set it to absolute and then I'll pin it to the left, bottom, and right with just um, 20 pixels from each side. Then I'm just going to give it a gray fill using just four. I'll set the radius just to something like 50. I just want it really round. And then I'll add a layout and keep it exactly as it is, perfect. So I want it to be horizontal and aligned to the center. So that's perfect. So that's great. Now I have somewhere to put all my controls. Actually, I might also add some padding to the left and to the right. Just like that. Oh, just like that. And like I said, I'm just going to keep my layers clean. So I'm going to call this controls or control bar. So I'll go back to the dashboard, grab the play button and paste it in. Now I also want the progress bar, paste that in as well. Um, I'll grab the, what do I want? I'll grab the skip backwards, paste that. The skip forwards as well, paste that in. And then last thing I want, maybe the video time label. Actually, you know what, go crazy. Let's also add in a full screen button. Great, so I'm just grabbing these ones for the tutorial, but you can mix and match literally any of these components. Go crazy. Now I'm just gonna organize these a little bit so it makes more sense for the user. This one here, and I'll put it in between those two, and then this is perfect. Uh, actually, move that there as well. I'll actually duplicate this time label and switch one of them to, switch this one to duration. And the last thing for step two is to set the progress bars width to fill just like that so you can see there it's looking pretty familiar we're all sort of used to something that might look like this so that's the last thing for step two or is it hmm let's preview it and hit play huh wonder why these controls aren't working just kidding i know why so you want to make sure this video frame component is always above everything else in the stack. Now, if we preview the page, it's all working. Nice. If yours isn't and you're confident that you've done all these steps correctly, just send us an email and we'll sort you out. Step three, customize. Now, it's looking pretty good, but I want to make some quick changes. First, instead of skipping back and forwards 10 seconds at a time, I want it to be 15 seconds. So I'm going to switch both of these to 15 seconds. That's perfect. 
Next, I'm going to change the color of the current time label to white. So that way you can see the difference between the two. Then I'll go into the progress bar and as much as I like this shadow here, I think I want to switch it out for a border instead to keep everything looking really flat. So I'll get rid of the shadow by going into handle, just X out of that and give it a border. And I want to make it the same color as the background there and then change the width to four. But now that's a little bit small. So I'm going to switch the size to something like 20, but I also want to keep it round. So that's perfect. It also might be kind of cool to give the line, uh, the played section, a nice red color, kind of like YouTube. I'll just paste it in here and it should look like that. So now we're just going to preview it, give it one last preview, hit play, cool. So that's how you make a custom video player in Framer. If you have any questions or need any further support, feel free to email us at help at insertframe.io. See ya.